Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one's going to be uh, taking a look at a Town Hall 10 base and eventually taking a look at a live attempt on it towards the end of the war. A very high stakes attack that took place. Um, you guys will see me uh, watching it live, we'll go through it live. Uh, but first, this one's going to be kind of a base destruction video uh, type mixture in the fact that we're going to take a look at the first two attacks on this base first and talk about kind of the progression of the plan and uh, how the plan's changed and how uh, the, the attacker going in live is gonna try to build off of that. So um, we'll just get right into it, talking about the base first, <clears throat> then we'll get to the plans. I actually attacked this base myself. I was the first attacker. Um, and one thing I noticed is, if you look at the infernos in this base, people do this a lot still, they have the Inferno compartments very spread out, a uh, very spread out base in general. A um, lot of, lot of real estate on this base, and that means the Infernos can't cover a huge percentage of the base. Um, th this area here, this area here, both really don't have any Inferno coverage, which means you can utilize heal spells more. And uh, the Infernos also being so close to the outside of the base, you can take them out very easily. And by doing so, you're disarming the Inferno power on the entire half of the base, pretty much. And that opens up Queen Walks, it opens up Heal Spells, it just opens up any kind of healing type part of an attack that you typically can't do. So it makes it a little more Town Hall 9-like in that fact, that you don't have any Inferno Tower to deal with uh, for the majority of the attack. So one thing to always look for, when the Inferno is this exposed, look to do a Queen Charge. It can get you some great value, and that's what I did here. Um, drop down my queen up here, just wall break her in, uh, let her just walk down this compartment, take out the inferno. Had to use the ability, um, but that's fine. I dropped some hogs here for the sea sealer. As it came out, I raged up the queen. Probably didn't need a rage, but I went ahead and dropped it anyway. Had the poisons. Uh, she took all of that out. From there, uh, basically she uh, was supposed to go through the wall and go towards the DE storage. I wanted her to continue moving through, take the queen out, stuff like that. But unfortunately, she went ahead and went outside the base and uh, the air defense eventually gets the healers as she rounds the corner. So that wasn't um, what I had planned, but it ended up happening. The rest of the plan was to drop a golem here, some bowlers, create the funnel, and just send them through on like a straight route like that. One thing to look for is the taking out the flanks and making a runway for your troops. That's uh, not done enough, but if you can do that, the golem will do the tanking because it'll be directly in front. There won't be any any uh, defenses flanking your your troops. That's a very effective way to, uh, to not lose many bowlers, and it keeps your troops together in one coherent group, prevents them from getting picked off or anything. And because this archer tower goes down to the hogs, Really, there's nothing here on this initial flank, so I can send things through and not have to worry about them getting targeted, um, and the golem does most of the tanking. I went ahead and dropped some more wall breakers right here into that second layer because the pathing worked out right, so I was able to really get deep into the base with the wall breakers. Then I dropped a few hogs on this mortar, a CC of hogs, I guess. Um, those level 7 hogs in the CC are a great addition. Um, basically they can get in there, take out some buildings that your uh, kill squad can't usually reach. So the bowlers can't reach this inferno. I don't have a jump for them. So I drop the hogs down, they get in there, get the inferno. The only problem was this little part of the base right here. Uh, the queen never came back inside to take out. So it, that's what's going to be left up at the end of the attack. Couldn't quite get it done. Um, so today we're going to take a look at the two attacks, my attack, then the attack that was built off of that. Then we'll take a look at the live attack and see if this base gets three-starred. Um, so we'll get to that in a second, but let me cut away to my attack right now. All right, here we go with the attack. Uh, you can see here I have a few Valks I actually brought that I didn't mention. Those are two. I, I like using Valks whenever I have a mass bowler attack, just bringing a few Valks. Basically, the job of the Valks is to run out in front. <clears throat> trigger some giant bombs, sometimes latch on to the heroes because they take out the heroes a lot better than the bowlers typically. They're just a different type of AI um, to, to trigger some traps that would otherwise be detrimental to the bowlers. So I recommend bringing like, you know, one or two Valks if you have the troop space, if you're doing an attack that has more than like eight bowlers or something, uh, which I definitely am. So uh, Queen goes in right here. 
I was hoping to get away without using the ability. I probably would have had to drop that giant a little bit earlier. And there's also a Tesla down here, so had to use it anyway. Guess it probably wouldn't have mattered. But takes out the Inferno. There's the Tesla going down. And right here, uh, the CC comes out. I have the two poisons, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have to use the Rage. Um, but with the Sweeper, the Archer Tower, I went ahead and just did it. The Valks are being poisoned, but they will get a few hits off on her, so it's hard to know if it was needed. Um, you can see I was hoping she'd go through the wall right here, but instead she uh, goes back outside the base. So she will get some pretty good value still, but she won't be end, uh, uh, she won't be up for the end of the attack, which is what I was hoping for. There's those bowlers. I dropped them really high up so they can take out the gold storage. That's important for the wall breaker funneling, or the wall breaker pathing rather, because I'm going to wall breaker that first wall, but I'm also going to drop wall breakers even uh, deeper into the base right there. There's the next set of wall breakers. I have the rage to help them get through. So they open up that next wall. They actually got that um, top compartment too, but they got the other wall, which is the important part. Heal spells probably a little bit early because as soon as they leave it, they hit a giant bomb. Uh, right here, the queen, her healers are starting to go down, so she will go down as well. Don't have her ability, ability or anything. There's the freeze for the inferno and the hogs coming through. They actually get a little bit of that second rage, which, which was pretty nice. There's the inferno going down. Um, giant bomb's going to take out the hogs for the most part. They will get a little bit more value because the king is uh, tanking for most of those defenses. So they will, I think, take out that cannon. But besides that, um, they're just not going to get through the rest of the base here. That Tesla is going to take out most of my troops, I believe. So very, very close. Don't have a whole lot of cleanup besides a few archers at the bottom. So that would do it for my attempt. Pretty darn close. I think if the queen had stayed in, I might have had a better shot. Let's take a look at uh, the next attack on this base. Um, let's fast forward here. I'm going to go ahead and cut away to it, and I'll be right back with the attack. So here's Felicity Smoke. He is the next attacker. Has a pretty similar army he's going to go ahead and use on this base, but there are a few tweaks. He has the lower level heroes. Uh, my heroes are substantially higher than his, so that definitely doesn't help. But we'll see if he can make some adjustments here. Has the P.E.K.K.A. I'm not sure if that was a good choice. We'll, <clears throat> we'll see how it works out for him. Um, and he has a few less bowlers as a result. So the queen comes in right here. Uh, same thing, pretty much has to use the ability. Um, she is level 37 as well. So it's going to take just a little bit longer. There's the giant and the few hogs here. They'll get in there, get that uh, that archer tower, get the same sea sealer. So that's all good. Uh, the queen steps up, gets this next uh, Tesla, and boom, the CC troops come out. So I believe he has another rage ready for them. Um, so pretty similar opening right here. Gets the uh, CC troops real quick. And then the queen right here, I believe he's going to let wall breaker her in later. Um, I was I was thinking for the second attack to wall breaker her, her into this compartment with the archer tower. But it looks like he's going to wait a little bit and try to get her down towards the bottom. That way she can probably reach some of those point defense. I think I see the logic behind that a little bit. So drops down the golem, the bowlers, um, similar stuff, but he, except he has a P.E.K.K.A. That's probably the main difference there with that part of the attack. The queen making her way around. I think he probably, I don't know if he forgot about the wall breakers. Yeah, right there it looks like he might have been like, oh wait, I forgot to drop my wall breakers. Because I bet he wanted to bring her in earlier. Because right here you can see the healers are just going down one by one. Uh, but everything else is moving through okay. The king does go to the outside, but at least he's doing a little bit of tanking and stuff. There's the CC of hogs making their way through. He waits um, and drops the heal on the hogs which I thought was interesting. My heal probably didn't, didn't get much value, so I can see the logic behind that. The only problem is the bowlers die, so that way it's just those hogs left up. The queen managed to uh, stay up as well, so that's not gonna help, and uh, had the king been inside the base, he probably would have gotten her taken out, but he's on the outside. So that middle part of the base is going to stay down. He will also get um, in the mid 80s as far as percentage goes um, before the rest of his troops go down. So nice try to Felicity Smoke. We will go ahead and uh, wait for the live attack. I mean, it's already happened, but I'll show. I'll just go ahead and uh, cut away to my reaction to the live attack as I recorded it live. I knew I was going to make this type of video, so I went ahead and recorded it live. And uh, let's go ahead and see the result.
Okay, so we are in it looks like uh, with JC. This is the attack I've been waiting for. Um, we, this space has been attacked a few times. I'm probably going to show those in the video first. Then you guys are going to see this clip. This is the uh, live attack part. And uh, I'm watching this as it unfolds during the war. It's very close right now. Too hard to tell who's going to win. Pretty much even as far as stars and attacks go. So every attack is huge. Um, the first few plans were pretty solid. Um, I think that a few adjustments might make it work. I was planning with him uh, for a little while on Discord. So I think um, from what we talked about, this should be the recipe for success here. Um, looks like the hogs, the giants going in. He might not have to use the ability if that cannon goes down. Okay, he goes ahead and pops it. It was, it was debatable if that ability had to be used, but I probably better to safe than sorry right there. Um, the hogs do get the sea sealer, so that's good. Out comes the balloons, the valks, a few wall breakers. That's what we talked about. That positioning, perfect, right there. The walls opened up. You know, he is he gonna have to use that rage? Oh, that's close. Okay, he's good. That was uh, that worked out well. Right there, okay, the queen's on the wall, which is interesting. That's fine, though. It's the same thing. She's still going to the same compartment. That's actually what I wanted to hap have happen on my attack. So nothing uh, too bad there. There's that rage. Good that he got that down in time. Okay, things are looking good up there. I guess at this point, just ignore the queen. Um, she should do her job. She should take out that enemy queen as well right here. Looks like she's doing okay. Um, here's the king, the bowlers, the valks, everything moving in right here. Um, those wall breakers, nope, they're going to target that compartment. So it looks like uh, he'll have to beat through the wall, which was fine. Uh, they went through that wall really quickly, actually. Um, the queen, is she going to go down? Yeah, there's so much point defense on her. But it looks like she got a little more than the other two attacks. This one's going to be close. He has that freeze spell. He has to drop the freeze. There he goes. Freezes down. Uh, the heal looks like it's still affecting those bowlers. He has a bunch of bowlers left up. So this is actually looking very nicely. The healers are actually peeling off and getting the bowlers. And the hogs healed up a little bit. So look at that. Um, yeah, he's got this. Yeah, this one's going to be a three. Those hogs going to make their way through. Yep, time looking pretty good. All right, this one, I think he's got it. Nice. Awesome attack to JC. Wow. Um, looks like this was a successful uh, little three attacks to uh, to eventually get the three star. And what I like about this is how the attacks kind of built up. Um, my initial plan, the next one, try to do a few things differently. Didn't quite work out. Same uh, results. But then JC comes in here and crushes it. I uh, hope you guys like the attack. Awesome attack to JC. Uh, got the job done. This is huge. We'll see how this uh, turns out in the uh, big picture. So that will do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good war to Dark Looters X. You can see the result right here for the first time. Um, very close war. Came right down to it. We'll go through the bases real quick just in case I don't. I should make another video about this uh, this war, but in case I don't get around to talking about uh, the war itself. I <clears throat> want to just congratulate them on the win. Dark Looters X, it was a nice uh, performance by them. You can see they got all the 10s taken care of uh, in the 9s, obviously, and those two 11s, pretty good percentage on them right there, 68-57. We really struggled with their Town Hall 11s. Uh, it was a tough, t t had a tough time with them, um, those Town Hall 11s, but uh, in the end, we had to uh, use a few of our own Town Hall 11s to take them out. As a result, we were spread a little bit thin over the 10s and couldn't quite get that uh, that last 3-star there, which was needed. So anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Um, I wanted to have some Town Hall 10 action because there weren't a lot of Town Hall 10 uh, 3-stars on high-level bases. We had a few on their bottom 10s, but I'm not going to show those because they're pretty... Uh, underdeveloped bases and I don't want to make Dark Looters X have to rebuild a ton of bases so um, Thor had two nice attacks though he is a Town Hall 10 and he had two fresh triples and Town Hall 10s which is very hard even if they are low level but anyway the moral of this video I guess the lesson you can learn um, from this video is that you don't always have to go to the Bo La Loon on these Town Hall 10 attacks and in fact it's gonna be very difficult in the, in the future probably as people put their air defenses in weird places 
to defend against that. So you have to be creative, look for ways to isolate parts of the base, to use those runways um, so there's nothing flanking your troops. The spread out bases tend to be the best for those kind of split hero attacks and stuff like that. So be looking for that. Um, hope you guys liked the video and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectatron out.